Guys, Thunder E here, and first of all, I'm apologizing because I lost my voice, but uh, here is my review of the brand new Logitech G935 LightSync gaming headset. I'm using the headset right now, and I'm using it to actually do the voiceover for this video. Now, besides my coarse voice, you're going to see that the microphone is really good, and one of the best improvements I found from the G933 to the G935. So, moving on to the headset, what you have here is something that looks very similar to the G933. This is the 933 here. I've got a custom filled faceplate, and you can swap the faceplates on this headset. Now, the 935 LightSync comes with, of course, with RGB lighting built in, so you can see it all around the headsets. Uh, the Logitech logo lights up, the headset itself also lights up all around, and as well as um, part of the microphone. Now, the headset itself is really comfortable. It's one of the good things they've done this year. Um, there is more flexibility on the top band, which allows it to rest more on the top of your head and less around the edges, which is something the 933 actually focuses more on. So I like that improvement. Now you've got 50mm drivers built in, also supports um, DTS Headphone X. And as I mentioned, with the light sync, you can sync all that together with your other Logitech um, uh, devices, keyboard, mice, that kind of stuff. Now, the headset itself, on the left ear cup, you have the power switch, you've got your programmable button, so for some hotkeys, for audio types, uh, and then you've got your volume rocker. Below that, you do have a 3.5 mm jack and a micro USB cable to charge it. Now, a micro USB port now, in 2019, I would like to see everyone switch to USB Type-C, so that's something I don't like as much. Um, now, as I mentioned with each headset, with this headset, the faceplates are customizable, and underneath the faceplate on the right ear cup houses your USB dongle to connect to your PC uh, for the proprietary connectivity, which gives you some really nice sound. You can walk off about 50 feet and still able to use this headset. Um, I go to check out the brand new Apex Legends uh, from the makers of Titanfall. Audio-wise, it sounded really good. Uh, really clear. I can hear my footsteps. Um, also with DTS Headphone X, the sound stage is really loud and um, captivating as you like to experience in the gaming head headset. Now the microphone is a drop-down mic like the G933. It also can pull out as you can see clearly here. And I will say using this headset for a while, um, it feels really comfortable. Now the battery is also on the left, under the left faceplate, can be replaceable as well. And it's got some pretty good battery life on here. So you've got that on this headset. I think overall, it's a really solid headset and a nice improvement from the G933 in terms of audio. And again, guys, I apologize for my voice, uh, but I just had to do this voiceover for this video. Now, playing um, the Apex Legend, uh, I got to experience the lighting, um, the audio all together as one. And I have to say, uh, this continues the trend of what the 933 did, and I think a lot of people like it, especially at its price point of $169. I think this is one that a lot of people will definitely like, and if you're looking to pick up a headset, this is the headset you should go for, especially at that price point. So, guys, if you have any questions or any comments, or you would like to hear more about this headset, and again, I'm sorry for my voice. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.